If you follow me on Instagram, you probably did see a poll that I post asking if you wanted me to teach y'all this really cool clone effect I did for one of the baseball edits I had to do. Now, of course, like everything, whenever you're trying to demonstrate something, it just doesn't work out as planned. When I was editing it, I actually went a different route by doing it, but I'll explain that in a little bit. For some reason, it wouldn't work for me, like copy and pasting the, the layer. So I'll have to teach y'all another way on how to work around it, just in case that method specifically doesn't work for you. Now, this problem only occurred after I closed the software and opened up the project again. So you might not have to do it. Maybe it's just my program tripping out. It's a really cool effect, and I want y'all to learn how to do it because you know if you shoot music videos sports videos any video really you could use this effect and it could like bring a lot more life to your videos now before we get into this video i do want y'all to actually go back and watch the last video i made whenever i put text behind a subject this is actually because you're gonna be using the same exact magic mask method i used in the last video also one more thing before we get into it if y'all ever do one of the edits that i show y'all how to do go ahead and tag me on instagram post it and tag me you know on your story whatever i want to see y'all's edits i just want to see like y'all's work which y'all have done with the effects that i've touched y'all so real quick this is actually the base layer without the mask and this layer up here is the one with the mask when i move it it actually moves the mask so what i originally did was actually just click option click and then drag it down and it actually duplicated the mask perfectly but for some reason when i try to do this video it's not letting me do that and when i move it over it's actually going to move over the entire frame but don't worry there's an easy fix to that all you have to do is select the clip you want to work on go to the fusion page like normal Go ahead and go back to the last mask you made, you know, the original mask, and then go ahead and track that back and forth one more time. I don't know why I did this. For some reason, it just didn't want to work out right. So when I go back, it's, you know, of course not working. <laughs> but don't worry, go ahead and just disable this clip and then go click your second clip. Next, you want to go back to your actual original mask that you drew. For me, it's this keyframe right here. You can tell it masked it out right when I went to it. For some reason, it just doesn't want to do it for the rest of the video. Now, all you have to do is actually just track it back and forth one more time. Now, I don't know why it actually did this. It's weird because when I was editing, I didn't actually have this problem. But now I'm gonna have to actually remask all the videos if I need to edit that video clip again. So once it's done, just go ahead and go back to your edit page. When you go to the middle of it and just drag it over, you're gonna notice that remasked it out. Go ahead and re-enable your other clip and you can have two masks now. Now this looks cool and all, but I don't like how the two are over this middle one. So again, you're gonna go ahead and duplicate that one more time and repeat the process I just showed y'all. So now it's done masking out, I'm gonna go ahead and re-enable all these clips and you're going to notice that this one needs to actually be reset. When I reset the top one, it's going to put it right back in the middle. Now you're probably like, well, now you only have two. No, you still have three. So you go back down to your third one and actually drag it out to the other side. If you want to start over, you can actually just recenter all of them. When I was editing mine, I actually went out five frames. But before that, we're going to add key points on the first frame. Next, we can go out five frames. So one, two, three, four, five. And when that's done, go ahead and add another keyframe. Go ahead and go to the end, add keyframes there, and then go in five more. One, two, three, four, five. Now this is obviously going to vary for each video you make so for me this is what worked out best for me so once you've done that go ahead and go back to the very first part of your clip and then move over to the next keyframe so what i'm gonna do is actually just drag it out you can drag it out as far as you want up to your liking i'm just gonna drag it about right there so after you drag it out go ahead and remember this number so this is negative 439 i'm actually gonna go back up to my next keyframe so this should be the third one and i'm gonna do negative 439 this will ensure that it stays in the same place through this entire duration right here. Next, you wanna go back to your last keyframe and then just change that to zero. And then now you can tell it's realigned. So when I play it out, he starts in the center, he spreads out, he stays there, and then he comes back. And now go ahead and do that for your next clip. Now you could actually tweak the key points for this. You just wanna make sure you go over to this, press the arrow and go to position X. You wanna go over here. I believe this is like a linear curve. I could be wrong. I don't fucking know. Go to your first keyframe and then go ahead and press this little curved one right here. Doing this will give you this little arm. You drag it down about right there just to ease it in. Or if you want, you can just right click and then click ease out because obviously you're easing the transition out. And then you go to this last keyframe right here and then click ease in, drag the arm out again. Now this isn't perfect, but it'll just help smooth out the transition between them going in and out. Go ahead and do that to your second one too. So now they just don't shoot out, they'll just actually smooth in and out. So once you've done that, go ahead and just close up the keyframe. So what I did for my video, I actually added a blur transition. So what I can actually do is actually go to my effects panel, go to video transition, and I use blur dissolve. Go ahead and drag that onto there. Uh, we can make this about, let's say, six frames because you don't want it too long six frames should be more than enough to let it blur into the clone effect but what i did for mine actually instead of ease i went from none i put it on ease in and of course i also you know adjusted the horizontal strength because i didn't want it too strong so what you can do is just go to the end of your blur just change the horizontal strength to you know whatever you want it to do i did less horizontal strength and i think i actually 
adjusted some of the vertical strength. So once you've done that, you could actually copy and paste this transition. So what you do and do is click option, click on the transition, then drag it down to your second one. And now you have the same exact transition on both of them. If you wanted to, you could actually do it at the end as well. But I personally didn't like it, you know, with the blur going back in. I just liked how it snapped back together. I'm gonna go ahead and export this out so y'all can see what it looks like. Now notice whenever we play it out, it's gonna slowly clone out and then it's gonna quickly just snap back. Now, of course, at the end of the day, you can tweak this to your liking. You can either make it ease in a lot longer or a lot quicker. It's all up to you. You can have it ease out, whatever you wanna do. I just wanted to give y'all the example on how to do that. You know, just some basic steps. Cause you know, last time when I showed y'all how to do an effect, y'all like, oh, you didn't teach us how to tweak the key points and all that. You could also, you know, play around with other transitions. You don't even have to use the blur transition. I just thought it looked cool. Cause it like the flash, you know, a little bit like boom, and then boom back in. But you know, it's all up to your liking. Tweak it however you want, make it look good for you or your client or whatever they want. This effect is very easy to do. There's multiple different ways you can do this effect. You can do it in After Effects, you can do it in the color page, you can do it, there's multiple different ways. I just like the Magic Mask because it's easier because you can just usually just copy and paste a layer and it shouldn't really fuck it up. But for some reason, it decided to today when I was trying to shoot this video. Anyways, go ahead and follow all my social medias. Don't forget to, you know, comment on my videos if you have any questions, I can make videos on them. Also, I hit 1 million views on my gondola. I'm actually pretty excited. I worked with uh, this one event that helped me get there a little bit with the likes and stuff. But um, yeah, it was uh, pretty cool. My, you know, this month and the next couple days actually be pretty crazy. You're gonna see this way after this event's over anyways. So I might post a little bit about it if I'm able to. But uh, yeah, everything, you know, is going good right now. Everything's fun. So yeah, go if you have a video passion you wanna do, just go ahead and follow it, bro. Just all you have to do is pick up a camera, go out and shoot. You know, people will see your work. People like your work, they'll hire you. You know, it's as simple as that. You know, you don't wanna just post some BS clips and people be like, oh. That's what he does. Or don't steal other people's footage while asking. You know, you want to make sure you use your own work and you can show what you can do, not what you can do with other people's work, unless that's what they're looking for. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Ew, it's so cringy. Why do I keep saying that? Anyways, make sure you do that. And if you didn't enjoy the video, I guess I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs>